Good evening, everyone, and welcome once again to our evening prayer for today, Saturday, the 30th of December. Um, season's greetings to all as we now start our evening prayer for tonight. O oh God, make speed to save us. O oh God, make haste to help us. O oh Lord, you laid the foundation of the earth and the heavens are the work of your hands. Blessed are you, sovereign God, our light and our salvation. To you be glory and praise forever. To dispel the darkness of our night, you sent forth your Son, the firstborn of all creation, to be the Christ, the light of the world, rejoicing in the mystery of the word made flesh, we acclaim him Emmanuel, as all creation sings to you. Blessed be God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Blessed be God forever. Of the Father's heart begotten, ere the world from chaos rose, he is Alpha from that fountain all that is and has been flows. He is Omega of all things, yet to come the mystic close, evermore and evermore. Oh, how blessed that wondrous birthday, when the maid the curse retrieved, brought to birth mankind's salvation by the Holy Ghost conceived, and the babe, the world's redeemer, in her loving arms received, evermore and evermore. Sing ye knights of heaven his praises. Angels and archangels sing. Wheresoe'er ye be, ye faithful, let your glorious anthems ring. Every tongue his name confessing, countless voices answering, evermore and evermore. And so that this evening may be holy, good, and peaceful, let us pray with one heart and mind. As our evening prayer rises before you, O God, so may your mercy come down upon us to cleanse our hearts and set us free to sing your praise now and forever. Amen. Appointed psalm this evening is Psalm 65. Be joyful in God, all the earth. Praise is due to you, O God, in Zion, to you that answered prayer shall vows be paid. To you shall all flesh come to confess their sins. When our misdeeds prevail against us, you will purge them away. Happy are they whom you choose and draw to your courts to dwell there. We shall be satisfied with the blessings of your house, even of your holy temple. With wonders you will answer us in your righteousness. O God of our salvation, O hope of all the ends of the earth, and of the Father's seas, in your strength you set fast the mountains and are girded about with might. You still the raging of the seas, the roaring of their waves, and the clamor of the peoples. Those who dwell at the ends of the earth tremble at your marvels. The gates of the morning and evening sing your praise. You visit the earth and water it. You make it very plenteous. The river of God is full of water. You prepare grain for your people. For you provide for the earth. You drench the furrows and smooth out the ridges. You soften the ground with showers and bless its increase. You crown the year with your goodness and your paths overflow with plenty. May the pastures of the wilderness flow with goodness and the hills be girded with joy. May the meadows be clothed with flocks of sheep 
and the valleys stand so thick with corn that they shall laugh and sing. Be joyful in God, all the earth. May the richness of your creation, Lord, and the mystery of your providence lead us to that heavenly city where all peoples will bring their wealth, forsake their sins, and find their true joy. Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be forever. Amen. A short commentary on that psalm, psalm, psalm 65. David is again speaking prophetically about a time when all people will come and when all the turmoil of the nations, all the war, strife, conflict, oppression, everything will be ended. God is the savior and hope of even those who live in the farthest ends of the earth. God's salvation began with Abraham's family who then became the nation of Israel and now has burst all boundaries of nation, race, language, ethnic origin, or geographical location. We must prepare our hearts for the rich diversity of heaven by showing love for all, and especially those of God's people on earth who are far from us socially, economically, racially, politically, or any other way. Let us pray. Lord, we become so absorbed in our own troubles, we don't see and praise you for what you are doing across the world. Help us to escape the defense mechanism of racial superiority so that we can embrace learn from and rejoice in our brothers and sisters across the boundaries of race, class, and nationality. This we pray in the name of Jesus. Amen. We have two scripture readings for tonight. The first is from Isaiah 59, starting at verse 1. See, the Lord's hand is not too short to save, nor his ear too dull to hear. Rather, your iniquities have been barriers between you and your God, and your sins have hidden his face from you, so that he does not hear. For your hands are defiled with blood, and your fingers with iniquity. Your lips have spoken lies. Your tongue mutters wickedness. No one brings suit justly. No one goes to law honestly. They rely on empty pleas. They speak lies, conceiving mischief and begetting iniquity. They hatch adders' eggs and weave the spider's web. Whoever eats their eggs dies, and the crushed egg hatches out a viper. Their webs cannot serve as clothing. They cannot cover themselves with what they make. Their works are works of iniquity, and deeds of violence are in their hands. Their feet run to evil, and they rush to shed innocent blood. Their thoughts are thoughts of iniquity. Desolation and destruction are in their highways. The way of peace they do not know, and there is no justice in their paths. Their roads they have made crooked. No one who walks in them knows peace. Therefore, justice is far from us, and righteousness does not reach us. We wait for light, and lo, there is darkness, and for brightness, but we walk in gloom. We grope like the blind along a wall, groping like those who have no eyes. We stumble at noon as in the twilight. Among the vigorous are those as though we are, were dead. We all growl like bears, like doves we mourn mournfully. We wait for justice, but there is none. For salvation, but it is far from us. 
for our transgressions before you are many and our sins testify against us. Our transgressions indeed are with us and we know our iniquities. Transgressing and denying the Lord and turning away from following our God, taking, talking oppression and revolt, conceiving lying words and uttering them from the heart. Justice is turned back and righteousness stands at a distance. For truth stumbles in the public square and uprightness cannot enter. Truth is lacking and whoever turns from evil is despoiled. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Christ is the image of the invisible God, the firstborn of all creation. The Father has delivered us from the dominion of darkness and transferred us to the kingdom of his beloved Son, in whom we have redemption, the forgiveness of our sins. He is the image of the invisible God, the firstborn of all creation. For in him all things were created, in heaven and on earth, visible and invisible. All things were created through him and for him, he is before all things, and in him all things hold together. He is the head of the body, the church. He is the beginning of the firstborn from the dead. In him all the fullness of God was pleased to dwell, and through him God was pleased to reconcile all things. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be forever. Amen. Christ is the image of the invisible God, the firstborn of all creation. And our second Bible reading is John 1, verse 19 to verse 28. This is the testimony given by John when the Jews sent priests and Levites from Jerusalem to ask him, who are you? He confessed and did not deny it, but confessed, I am not the Messiah. And they asked him, What then? Are you Elijah? He said, I am not. Are you the prophet? He answered, No. Then they said to him, Who are you? Let us have an answer for those who sent us. What do you say about yourself? He said, I am the voice of one crying out in the wilderness, make straight the way of the Lord, as the prophet Isaiah said. Now they had been sent from the Pharisees. They asked him, why then are you baptizing if you are neither the Messiah, nor Elijah, nor the prophet? John answered them, I baptize with water. Among you stands one whom you do not know the one who is coming after me. I am not worthy to untie the thong of his sandal. This took place in Bethany across the Jordan where John was baptizing. This is the word of the Lord. The word became flesh and dwelt among us, full of grace and truth. And we have seen his glory, the glory as of a father's only son, Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. The Word became flesh and dwelt among us, full of grace and truth. And when peaceful silence lay over all, and night was in the midst of her swift course, from your royal throne, O God, down from the heavens, leapt your almighty Word. Mary sings, My soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord. My spirit rejoices in God my Saviour. He has looked with favour on his lowly servant, and from this day all generations will call me blessed. The Almighty has done great things for me, and holy is his name. He has mercy on those who fear him, and has scattered 
He has shown strength with his arm, and he has scattered the proud in their conceit, casting down the mighty from their thrones and lifting up the lowly. He has filled the hungry with good things and sent the rich away empty. He has come to the aid of his servant Israel to remember his promise of mercy. The promise made to our ancestors, to Abraham and his children forever. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and shall be forever. Amen. Now we pray for this day that the Lord has made and we rejoice in it. And we give thanks for all the good things that we have enjoyed. We give intercessions for praise, peace in our hearts, peace in our families, and peace in the world. We also pray for individuals and their needs. And the church, especially in places of conflict, we pray for the Holy Land, for peace and justice and reconciliation. We remember refugees and asylum seekers and all who are homeless and families with young children. For all our prayers, we ask the Lord in your mercy, hear a prayer and Lord graciously hear us. We pray for those on our prayer list. We pray for Doreen, Jean and Walter, Monica, Dion and Yvonne, Sue, Veronica and Chester, Dolly and Desmond, Jean Murphy, Joanna, Pat and Ray, Vincent, Pauline Haywood, Muriel, David Martins, Surya Yakella, Veronica, Monica, and daughter Cheryl. Charity, Pippa, Duke, Radcliffe and Pauline, Archdeacon Elwin, and family. Andy and Anita, Una, Noel, Jackie, and Maxine Harrison. We also pray for Reverend Cornelius and his family and our own families as well. We commend all these to your care, Heavenly Father. And we have a, a special prayer for the church. God of mission, who alone brings growth to your church, send your Holy Spirit to give vision and to our planning, wisdom to our actions, and power to our witness. Help your church to grow in numbers and in spiritual commitment to you, in service to our local community, through Jesus Christ, our Lord. We pray for peace in the Holy Land. Almighty God, hear the cry of our hearts as we hold before you the people of the Holy Land. Be near those who have lost lives and loved ones, and be a sure rock to those who are in terror this day. We pray that through your spirit of wisdom and mercy, conflict may cease, and that the leaders of the nations may work together for peace and justice between Israel and Palestine. As you wept over Jerusalem, so we ask that you hear the prayers of those who weep this day for your holy land. We ask all this through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. And our special collect for the day, our special prayer, Almighty God, who wonderfully created us in your image and yet more wonderfully restored us through your Son, Jesus Christ. Grant that as he came to share in our humanity, so we may share the life of his divinity, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Rejoicing in the presence of God here among us, as our Saviour taught us, so we pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. 
Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. And now for the final blessing. May the Lord bless you and keep you. May the Lord make his face to shine upon you and lift up his countenance upon you and give you his peace, his love, his joy. And at this glorious season, put the hope in your hearts for you and your loved ones, now and forever. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Good night, everyone. God bless you.